Hey you guys, I have something to share with you. And it's time to talk about poo again. <laughs> Always a fun topic. But basically, I just want to talk about why I have decided to only squat when I go to the bathroom. And it doesn't matter either way, number one or number two, I'm going to be squatting all the time. Now, let me give you a little background on this. For years and years and years and years and years, probably decades, I've been squatting in public restrooms, whether I go number one or number two. I mean, I don't usually go number two in public restrooms if I can help it at all time, at all possible. But um, I definitely always lift up the seat and pee, stand, you know, standing up and squatting. And um, obviously, this is just cleaner. You know, you don't have to make any contact. You do have to lift it up, but you're going to be washing your hands anyway. And you can get a piece of toilet paper and, you know, help you open the toilet, that top toilet seat lid without having to touch it. And it's, so it's cleaner. You don't have to touch it at all. Um, you don't have to sit on it. Actually, one time I did have an experience at this place I was working at where I sat down on the toilet and... I think this is why I stopped, why I started to stand up as much as possible. I actually got like this weird red, it was like either a rash or a burn or something. And I knew it was the toilet seat that gave it to me because it was like just the outline of where the toilet would be. It was the weirdest thing and I was highly freaked out. It didn't itch, it didn't get very bad or anything, so I never even figured out what that was. I was thinking maybe it was actually like somebody had sprayed bleach on it and so... That was a reaction to that. I honestly don't know, but I think ever since then I've been squatting in public restrooms. And um, I feel like as a vegan now and I'm pooping is so easy. Pooping is just, I did a video on this before. Pooping is so much better. It's quick. It's easy. Um, it's just better. But when you're a vegan, so when you're a vegan and you poop fast, you're actually able to get away with squatting while you, you know, while you poop. So no big deal. It strengthens your leg muscles. So this is really great. Um, there's a lot of other benefits too, besides germs and stronger legs, um, which stronger legs actually um, really important because it contributes your lower body strength as we age is really what is the number one thing that's going to keep us, you know, healthy and independent as we get older. So that's very important. So basically when you squat, when you poop and when you pee, you have better functions of everything. Everything's going to work better. You know, you're going to have less constipation. You're going to have your pelvic floor actually uh, has better function. Your colon is at a less risk of diseases because of it, you're at a lesser risk of hormone, uh, hormones, hemorrhoids, and um, you actually can usually avoid fecal stagnation, which can cause cancer, appendicitis, and infl inflammatory bowel disease. Squatting actually protects the nerves that control the bladder and, um, and the uterus. It prevents it from getting stretched and damaged and also if you have a prostate, it helps uh, protect that as well. There are valves that actually don't function as well when you're not squatting. So the valves function better when, when you're squatting. It's the valve, specifically the valve that is in between your colon and your small intestine. So very important that that's functioning properly. It prevents pelvic straining, um, which can actually cause hernias, diverticulosis and pelvic organ prolapse, which is not pretty or fun from what I've heard. Um, and if you're pregnant, it actually will help you to avoid uterine pressure. So, and again, stay nice and strong. Who doesn't love to do squats? Why not make it functional and everything like that? And plus, you know, when you're lifting up the seat, it's just, ugh, it's just so much easier to go pee like wherever. And, you know, one thing it'll it'll save me from is sitting there with my phone and just like sitting on the toilet make it fast you know and it's funny because babies actually do that naturally you know if you see little little walking babies they just walk around and whenever they're you get if you're a preschool teacher i learned this in preschool you watch for the ones that are squatting and try to take them to the bathroom because when they're squatting like that 
over in the corner, you know, they are probably pooping. That's what they do. So it's instinctual for us. And of course, since we're trained at a young age, the instinct kind of goes away. So those are all the reasons why I decided that I am going to be squatty on the potty. And I did have a, I never bought a squatty potty, but for years and years and years, I've been using just a step stool right in front of the toilet while I go poop. <laughs> Such a lady, I can understand. Oh my gosh. So yeah. Um, but and I I don't think that's as good. I think that that's a better step if you are like elderly or something and you can't squat, then I definitely say go for the squatty potty or just buy a step stool and lift your legs up. Even my kids, I've always kind of encouraged this for them. So for the longest time, I don't think they still do it, maybe sometimes, they'll actually just squat on the toilet seat. And when I'm talking about this, I'm just squatting on my feet on the floor. You know what I mean? Anyway, I hope this wasn't TMI for anybody. I'm just trying to help everybody be as healthy as possible. And this is a very legit way uh, to do that. So something we sometimes overlook and don't want to talk about. So don't forget to share with your friends and let them all know that they need to be squatty pottying in some way, shape or form. So take care. Don't forget to eat your fruit. Don't pay anybody to be killing no animals or else or else. Eat your fruit, and you won't want to do that. You won't be craving for helpless, defenseless friends.